Hey guys, tonight I'm going to be taking a look at the uh, LG 55 inch 4K TV. I will put the exact model number of this one in the description. It is UHD TV, 4K, smart TV. It has HDR. I picked this up at Walmart on Cyber Monday for 500 bucks. I think it's up to 750 or 850 now. So what I can say about Walmart so far is that their customer service was not good. I paid the extra shipping to get this within two or three days and they completely ignored that request and shipped it to me and I got it on the day that I would have gotten it if, uh, if I would have chose the free shipping at checkout. So I was not happy about that. I got on, talked to their customer service, they refunded my shipping, gave me a small gift card for my troubles, but that did not get the TV to me any quicker. So it will be replacing this TV behind me, which is a 46 inch Sony LCD, probably five to seven years old now at this point. It was one of the first LCDs that Sony came out with. Without any further ado, let's go ahead, get this one out of the way and get this one out of the box. Here we go. So in order for this TV to fit my TV stand, I cannot use the legs that came with it uh, because they go on the ends here and that would be off of my stand. So unfortunately, I had to order a uh, universal mount that goes on the back here to put the legs back into the center of the TV. This came a week ago when I thought I'd be getting the TV. I already see a problem here. Okay, so first problem I see is my Visa mount is up here for a wall mount or universal mount like this one, but there's a lip right here on the TV. And so this isn't going to sit flush like it needs to. That's incredibly annoying. Um, hopefully I can use these spacers, spacers to make up that gap. There's some washers in here too. That should help me out a little bit. I have to make this work somehow, so that's why I'm not worried about opening all this stuff. I'm going to get a tape measure and see where I want to position that. Alrighty, the universal stand is on, and I think that that is going to work perfect. First thing I'm going to do here is plug the TV in and make sure it works before I continue setting everything up. There we go. Holy crap, it works. Let's see what kind of setup it's going to want us to go through. Hey guys, here is the TV in action. Uh, it looks incredible. It's probably not coming across through YouTube nearly as well as it is in my living room, but I'm very happy with it. It's sitting up pretty high on this stand. Keep in mind that this is a universal stand. It's not the stand that came with the TV. Like I said, those feet would have stuck off the ends of my uh, table here. So that's why I couldn't use that. It's got awesome features. I haven't explored the smart features. It's really not what I'm using it for. I just wanted to come in here at the end and say that this is an excellent TV. I don't have any 4K content yet, but I'm really buying it for the future because I know that that's coming. I know it's coming through Netflix more and more. That's, that's what I'm looking for. So I wanted to buy something that wasn't gonna get outdated. And I think that this TV was perfect for that especially at the price range that I was able to get it for. So please like this video if it helped you out at all. My main goal here was to kind of show you what box it came in, get it out of the box, get it set up, and tell you that yes, this is a good TV at an excellent price. This TV came with specs that you couldn't get without spending $1,200, $1,500. That HDR high dynamic range was really the big seller on this. Uh, that's kind of a a new thing in the 4K TVs, kind of the 2016 models have that. So that that's really what I was looking for, and I couldn't believe I found it at the price range that I did. So once again, thanks for watching this video. Please like it if it helped you out, and uh, consider subscribing to the channel for other things that I'm doing around the house. Thanks, and we'll see you again next time.